this so-called patriot, the West wanted to sanction him because he encourages the war and the brutality and cruelty and robbery like that. EU wanted to sanction him. And then Orban jumped in to interfere and uh, make some deal or something. Mm. So that the so-called patriot got off the hook. Mm. Mm. I'm telling you, they're all together. They're a whole band, mm-hmm. whole gang. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. It's not the first time that Orban is against the rest of Europe. I remember when there was a big refugee crisis from Syria and people walked miles and miles with children and no luggage, nothing much. They arrived in Europe, but they have to pass uh, Hungary. One of the routes is to pass Hungary. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then they just wanted to pass by. They didn't even want to go to Hungary. And Orban uh, ordered police at the border and then ordered soldiers to come and build a big fence to stop them. Mm. And it was winter and they have nothing. There was no tents, no infrastructure for them at that border. Mm. Wow. Mm. So cruel. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. And they're pretending to protect Europe. Well, nobody needs them to protect. At that time, Germany opened its house for everybody to come in openly. Mm. Right. Yes. Many stayed open and welcomed them, but they just got stuck at the border because Auburn did not let them pass. And then later, somehow, I heard that they said, oh, you just go to Hungary first, and they didn't want to. They were afraid that they would be kept there. They did not even want to go to Hungary. Right. right. All the countries opened their arms to let the Syrian people in. After the little kid died on the beach alone like that, oh, yes. Yes. just a uh, three-year-old kid died on the beach alone. The Syrian kid died because their boat capsized. Yes. They died on the beach. Germany opened their house, opened their arms, and let them come in. And then Hungary just stopped them like that. It was winter at that time, I remember. Mm. I was still in Europe. I was in France then. And they saw all this news, and they just stopped them at the border, and they had nothing to cover themselves. Many were sick and hungry and died. So nasty, so cruel. So now you believe me that he's one in the black dot. Definitely. Uh-huh. Yes, 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 yes. You look at his face, and you know, very stone cold. Yes. yes. Whatever in the name of national, whatever it is, it's obvious. There's no love, no heart. Mm. No, that's true. That's why it's one of the black dot group, one in the black dot. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, now you know. Uh, another thing, uh, the Secretary General of NATO, Stoltenberg, ah. says that the West have to brace for the long-haul war in Ukraine. Mm. We have to be realistic and, and realize that this may last for a long time, for many months, for even years. And that's the reason why we need also to be, be prepared for long haul. This is a negative prediction. This is not very positive at all. No, it's not. But he's negative himself. Uh, you can see it in his face. Uh, yes, also. You don't have to look through to the soul. You can see in the face. He's one of the ones in the black dot as well. Uh, in the beginning, remember, he just kind of almost didn't want to have anything to do with Ukraine. Yes, that's right. That's right. Then afterwards, people pressure him, and then he uh, put all NATO countries in alert mode. Yes, yes. But still had nothing to do with Ukraine. It looked like he didn't want to have at all. Mm, that's right. It looked like he wanted uh, Ukraine to just fend for himself alone, live or die. Yes. yes, that's true. And now still that kind of attitude. Yes, yes, exactly. What for he has to make his hands dirty, yeah? It's not his country. Yes. yes. He's safe, he always gets paid and has everything he wants. That's, that's right. As a top leader of a mighty army organization, he doesn't care if the neighbor dies, he or leaves, or is raped, or torture or murder yes, yes, yes. or houses burned down and 14 million refugees yes you can see his face you can see his attitude his body language yes exactly so i'm disgusted with this guy i told you many times yes, yes. and now you can see it yes he wants to prolong the war he wants people to suffer he couldn't care less the more you can suffer the more other neighbors want to join Several other neighbors uh, also thinking of joining NATO, not just Finland and Sweden. Finland and Sweden have already officially applied. Yes, yes. yes. And other neighbors also seem to think in that direction already. I read in the news. Right, 
the more Ukraine suffers, the more people are scared, and the more people are scared, the more they will join NATO, and he'll be more mighty and look more powerful. Oh, gosh. All allies agree that NATO enlargement has been a great success. Oh, I just look at his attitude, his body language, his face, and I feel sick already. No matter what excuses he makes, no use. Yes, yes, master. Yeah, you have power, you have uh, many people, and you see your neighbor being beaten right in front of you, and you just do nothing. Yes. Just talk big, let the neighbor suffer so that other neighbors can come to you begging for protection. Oh, that's so ugly. This guy is evil also, I'm telling you. Yes. Just all these strategies, all politically motivated, all power, greed, and cruelty. Yes, yes, yes master. Cruelty in this guy. Passive cruelty. That's yes, right. That's right. Just like in the beginning, Biden wants Ukraine to lose. Oh. Yes. On one hand, he says Putin is a killer. On the other hand, couldn't care less whom he kills. And just because it looks like they're against Putin, but they are together with Putin. You don't understand this. Do you understand yes. it? Yes. 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 The way they do things is supporting, just to make an advantage for Putin. Yes. That's what I'm thinking, and that's what I'm seeing. We said from the beginning, and I know you did as well, that if this administration was really serious about crippling the Russian war effort, they wouldn't be funding it through the back door by continuing to do huge business with China. That's exactly right. But this administration has no plan, no strategy. They're not willing to confront the hard truth that it, the partnership that Xi, uh, Xi Jinping in China calls unlimited. He says we're unlimited friends. They're, un, they're unwilling to confront the challenge that that presents and be serious about this. So that's why I told you, all these so-called leaders of NATO or whatever countries behave like that. I told you, they are not worth their thoughts. They are just passive, aggressive, passive cruelty. Mm, yes. They are all in this black dot. Yes. Mm. Now you understand. Mm. Yes, yes, Master. Yes. You do understand, really? Yes. yes, we do. So they work together, but on the surface, it looks like they're against each other. Yeah. yeah. Biden... Stoltenberg, Putin, and the gangs, they're all the same. Yes. You have to see underneath their appearance, but still you can see it clearly. Yes, it's obvious. In their mannerisms, in their expressions, their face. Yeah. Yeah, it can't hide. It doesn't hide who they are, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So cold and just... Some are outright cruel, like Putin and the gangs, and some are hidden. Right, right, right. Just like some people have this passive aggression. Yes. yes. Something like that. They can only fool the fool. That's true. Yes, yeah. true. They cannot fool people who have eyes. That's right. Yes, yes. Yes. Because Russia went to Ukraine and did all kinds of you know, atrocities, genocide, and just pure robbery. That's mm -hmm. right. Yes. Yes. Went in there and stole people's wheat, food. Mm -hmm. Yes. In many thousands of tons and took it away to bring it to Russia. Uh -huh. And even stole their farm equipment, stole their children in hundreds of thousands, and stole people's uh, money, underwear even, stole their uh, water heater, and uh -huh. put it on the tank, and people even recognized it. Oh, the, the housewife, oh, this is mine. Oh. It's my heater, it went to my house and took it. Like that. Uh -huh. I woke up and looked at my phone. My husband had sent me a photo with the message, do you notice anything strange? I started to look closely and realized that there was a tank going along a Pervomaiskaya street, completely full of belongings. There was a box on this tank. It's clear, of course, that many people will now say the box could be somebody else's but I have exactly the same box in my pergola. It's a box with a gas boiler that we bought just before the new year. Plus, when I started looking more at the picture, I noticed the children's bed linen, which had been bought. There are salesmen who come on Thursdays and they sell European items, and this bed linen was bought from them. I hadn't even opened it. It was placed in my child's room and left there. So it's definitely mine. When you are left with nothing, you look closer at everything. I realize that so many people have looked at this photograph. 
And sadly, it turned out that they were my belongings. I just want to make the point that the Russian army is not only destroying, they are also stealing what hasn't been destroyed. And stole people's dogs to eat. Yeah, now they have nothing to eat, so they eat the dog person. Oh my God, because some people ran and probably they couldn't take their dogs with them. Yes, Many did, but not all the dog people can be taken in a time of urgency. Mm, I understand. Yeah, maybe they have children, elderly, so they can't even take dog people with them. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. They probably think they will come back. Mm, yeah. They probably think the dogs will be okay for a while, but see, these dog people, eaters, they won't let even dog people in peace. Oh. Yeah, reading all this news gives me truly a physical headache and it's nauseating. I wanted to vomit. Mm. Every time I had to be patient. I had to continue reading, mm-hmm. searching the news for the world to see. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because if I cannot do that, then what else would I do to help Ukraine and help the freedom and democracy of the world? Mm-hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Being silent is just the same as supporting. Mm-hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Even if we are safe and in peace, but other people are in agony. Mm-hmm. They lost everything. They've been raped and killed. How can you just turn uh, blind eyes as if you don't know anything? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, how can I do that? Yeah. At least this is what we can do. We show all this to the world. Yes, right. master. Yes, master. Whatever I can collect, and, and uh, some of you also collect, and we show it all to the world so people will be more aware, those who are not aware or those who are pro-Russia, by ignorance. Yes. By fake news and by uh, public relations propaganda, they would know better. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. And then at least they don't support Russia and do not uh, slander Ukraine or help Russia to kill Ukraine. Yes. yes. We are helping. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes, Master. In some way, we are helping. Yes, right. Master. Yes, Master. So I also thank all of you here, I mean, everywhere that is doing this work like reading the news that I send and rearrange it and air it. At least you have to read it first in order to rearrange it and put it on the screen and air it. And this uh, may affect you somehow. So please, if you feel headaches or no sitting from it, then just go out for a while and come back, okay? Mm, yes, 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 Go out or maybe do a quick meditation mm. and drink something, uh, wash your face. Take some fresh air, uh, do some uh, running in one place or walking fast, something, for a while and come back to do it. Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Because it gives me headaches. It gives me not sitting, pain, physically, not just spiritually or emotionally. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. But we have to continue. No one would do this. No one else would have enough. We have channels everywhere in the world. Yes, yes, yes ma'am. We reach far and many people will understand. Mm-hmm. Yes, right. master, master. Master. Many people will know who is what, instead of being misled and siding with the devils and harming the good. Yes, right. yes master. We want to show the world all the facts about the war. It is not political. It is very spiritual. Because if people understand the war and the consequences and the unfairness thereof, they will lean toward the positive side, the righteous side. Mm, yes, Master. Yes, Master.